In September, I took a last minute trip to Nelson Bay with my sisters. The last time we had all been together in Nelson Bay was over 10 years ago, which is crazy to think about. Nelson Bay holds so much nostalgia for us, so when we had the chance to go together again, you bet we took the opportunity. Our trip started in Sydney. We planned to leave late morning, which gave Louise and I just enough time to make a little detour before we hit the road. Where are we heading? Bakery. How many bakery things are you getting? I'm going to buy out the bakery. <laughs> <laughs> Forget stocks, I'm buying bakery goods. <laughs> Did we take a 40 minute train ride to our old hometown purely for the nostalgic taste of bakery goods we used to have as kids? Of course. These bakeries have our heart and soul and if only these little ladies that ran them knew the pure power they hold on us. So Louise and Jess had already been in Sydney for a couple of days, which meant Louise had already scouted the best ice cream in a 10k radius of where they were staying. Which meant I also had the pleasure of hearing about all the amazing flavours they had, but not the enjoyment of trying them, as it was 10am on a Tuesday when I got there. But in some weird act of fate, the said ice cream shop was open and I got to indulge in the best ice cream I've ever had. We haven't even got to Nelson Bay at this point and I'm already convinced this trip couldn't get any better. Driving into Nelson Bay made me feel like I was 10 again, crammed into a fully loaded car with bikes in tow and discussing what beach we'd head to first or what movie we should hire. It felt so good to be back. I don't know if this is just a thing with my sisters and I, but every holiday place we stayed at has this certain type of smell that only exists when on holidays. I can't even describe it, but it just smells so wholesome. We have arrived and we are heading straight to the beach. The bets are in. Jess says the water's not going to be cold, but me and Louise know the water's going to be absolutely freezing. So nice. We'll see. And just like old times, we headed straight to the beach. Well, I guess bay. We were so determined to go into the water, no matter how cold it was. Don't be deceived by the glittery sun shining off it. It was freezing. Will you ride my side? I will drive in. As much as I would like to say we just dived in straight like Jess did, Louise and I took an embarrassing long time to go under. Still rose, a row we'll never find in memories made from trails we left behind along the way. I know these roads will lead us home. It's absolutely freezing. Like my body is just numb, but I think I think that means it's okay. I can't feel anything. I can't feel the coldness. So... It looks pretty, but it's actually Antarctica. Yay! We did it! It's not even cold. It's so great. <laughs> so toasty. It's so toasty. Thank you. Welcome. Louise is like, oh, water? I must swim in it. <laughs> 
marathon. <laughs> Louis just completed a marathon and goes, you know what? Let me swim it now. After being in the water for a bit, I did get used to the cold. That, or I just went numb and couldn't feel the hypothermia kicking in. But I didn't mind. Swimming in sparkly water is me and my sister's favourite thing to do. Suddenly we were kids again, doing handstands, looking for fish and finding shells, or why the sun slowly set. After the beach, we got ready and walked to a local restaurant for dinner. We're chatting about our plans for the week ahead. Our first official day in Nelson Bay started a bit rocky. Unfortunately, Jess had woken up with a bit of a cold, so we decided to take it easy and have a chill day. Luckily, our Airbnb has a stunning view of the ocean, so hanging out there for the day was no issue. A bit later on, Louise and I headed to Shoal Bay for Wi-Fi and sun, and of course, the best pies from Red Neds. It was 30 degrees this day, and it was only time Louise and I would cave and need to go out and enjoy the heat at the beach. But without Jess being there to be our hype woman for getting us in the cold water, Louise and I had to hype each other up for the ocean dunk. And as you can see, we needed all the help we could get. Update, it's still freezing, but I did it. Louise is still thinking about life choices. <laughs> We stayed on the beach until the sun started to set again, mucking around like kids and taking in the slow waves that rolled in, chatting about who knows what. The sunsets from my Airbnb were stunning. The way the whole sky lit up orange, then red, you couldn't help but take photos of it, filling up your camera roll with a hundred identical photos of the sky. I think we ended up making watching every sunset a ritual while we were here. For dinner we had wood fire pizza and watched TV until we all fell into a deep sleep coma. Day two was looking up. Jess had woken up a tad better, so Louise and I did an early morning walk to collect coffees and cinnamon buns. We decided to head to one of our favourite beaches, Baravi Beach, and enjoy lunch at the beach club. It was so windy this day. We also stopped by Burt Harbour to check it out as we'd never been here before. The waves were massive and the wind just about pushed us over. It reminds me of the coastal walk. Yeah. Oh. Cute. Also, side note, I really need to stop using anything I find as a tripod. It's obviously not working. The amount of times I thought I was getting a great shot, meanwhile my phone's just chilling upside down. Is that someone's drugs behind this? Okay. So, as I was trying to find something to be said tripod, I noticed a little container behind the bench that we were sitting on. Tell me this doesn't look sus. 
Louise and I were convinced it was either well, someone's stash or someone's ashes. Either way, we didn't want to touch it. Just, however, we had other ideas. Um, seashell. Or maybe someone's ashes. I don't know. Oh, There's something wrapped in it. You can't open that with your feet. Oh no. What if it's like some bad spirit? No drugs, just a geocache this time. On our way back, we checked out the local lolly store and picked out some of our favourite childhood lollies. This store has every lolly you can think of, including feet tubes, which I find so disturbing. I was so over the moon though when I found pink sticks. If you know, you know. These were canting gold back in the day. And just like clockwork, we were back on the beach for sunset. We decided to mix it up a bit and head to Little Beach this time. We'd spent a lot of time here as kids, so it was nice to be back again. As the time got closer to sunset, the temperature dropped so fast. So we scattered back and enjoyed the last peak of sun before it went down in the comfort and warmth of our car. That night we spent hanging out at the Airbnb, making pasta and playing Mario Party. Nothing like a bit of competition to really bring out the competitive side of us. <laughs> On the third day, we decided to go to the lighthouse for breakfast. We spent many mornings here growing up devouring scones and milkshakes as we watched the birds attack every bar spire. I think this is where my fear of birds stemmed from, if I'm being honest. For lunch we headed to a seafood place Louise and I found last year in our quick visit. We were so happy they still sold the most delicious lobster morning Nelson Bay has to offer. One year later we have the lobster morning again. Did it go up in price? Yes, but it was still up. We then lounged around enjoying the sun from the comfort of our living room, waiting for the afternoon to hit so we could watch the sunset all over again. I saw one just on the pole. We saw so many dolphins that afternoon, bobbing their heads and doing flips. This day was the last sunset for me as I had to head home early for other commitments. So I really wanted to go for one last dip. However, it was extra cold this afternoon and Jess and Louise weren't moving from their sun shares. So I bit the bullet and dived in one last time by myself. I was so numb coming out of this water. Now why? And now motorbike. Go on the waistcoat, show how it's done. And then I. Why? Oh, yep. Motorbike. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a two person love heart. Oh dear. Oh dear, guys, it doesn't look very good. We sat for two hours waiting for the sunset to set. 
The closer it got, the more people would show up and set their chairs out to watch the sun fall once again. It was so sweet to see how people come together to watch the sky change colours each afternoon. We played around on the beach as the sun turned yellow to orange and then blue, taken in the last moments of sunlight. For our last dinner together, we went to an Italian restaurant down the road that served warm, delicious pasta that we inhaled. Yeah, you really saw that. You know what? Later that night, we all sat down to battle it out again in one last Mario Party competition. Now, mind you, Louisa complained all game that she is not good and she won't win, even though she won the previous night. And well, guess who somehow won again? Wow, she wins again. I don't, I've never played. I always lose. I do always lose. I always lose. For my last day, we went out for breakfast at Shoal Bay to the local country club, and I had the most delicious waffle. Look at it, she's stunning. We then headed to Zenith Beach in hopes to recreate an old photo of us as kids. Then it was time to leave, one of the most bittersweet moments of a holiday, all build up to that one moment when you arrive and next minute you're leaving. So tragic, especially when you're the first to leave. Anyway, until next time Nelson Day. <laughs> <laughs>